Yo, what is up guys? My name is JellyfishGuy46, and welcome back to Glitch Data 64 Today I'm going to be giving you a tutorial on how to homebrew your Nintendo Wii. So first off, open up your browser. For this tutorial you will need a SD card and a Wiimote, preferably without Motion Plus built in. Go on and head over to the Letterbomb website. I'll leave a link to it in the description. So it should take you to this page and you will find four options up the top. So we're going to need to go over to our Wii now. And once you're on your Wii, go into the Wii Options menu and Wii Settings. Once you're in here, take a note of the system menu version, which should be up in the right hand corner here. Now go into your internet settings and make sure that you're connected to the internet. Then go into console information and copy down the MAC address which is the first line here. Now you can exit out of the settings and go back to your computer. Now once you're back here, you can enter the MAC address into the MAC address line here. And make sure that you have the correct system menu version selected at the top here. Now select bundle the hack me installer for me option. And tick the I am not a robot box. Because you're not a robot. Are you? Then either cut the red wire or the blue wire and it will give you this pop up. Select save and open the folder which it is in. Now you can open the zip file and select extract. Select extract and extract it to your desktop. Now you will see all these files pop up on your desktop. Now it looks like a lot don't panic, because we only really need two of these files. Now you can insert your SD card into your computer and open it up. But first of all, make sure that it's formatted to FAT32. To do that, make sure that you have some backups of your SD files. Go into the SD and right click it and select Format. It should come up with this, make sure FAT32 is selected, and click Start, then OK. It will format, and there you go. Now you can get the private folder, and copy it over to the SD card. And do the same with the boot.l file. And that's pretty much all you need to do. Now you can close the window. Eject your SD card, and now you can turn your Wii off, insert the SD card in, and turn it back on. Once your Wii is on, you can go down to the Wii message board. Now you should find a message, either in today, tomorrow, or the day before, depending on your time zone. Now you will find this letter with a bomb inside it and an SD card above it. Select it and it will come up with this screen. Just wait a minute and it will come up with this screen. Now you have to wait for about two minutes. Thank you. 
it will prompt you to press 1 and it will take you to this screen. Select continue using A and use the D-pad to select the option install the homebrew channel. Select yes continue and it will install the homebrew channel. Now select continue and now you can exit. And there you have it, you've installed the homebrew channel. Now if you go to exit to system menu, it will take you back to the home screen of the Wii and you should find that there is a new channel, the homebrew channel. Now you can select it. Let's just take a moment to admire this awesome animation. Now you can select start and it will take you back into the homebrew channel. So that's pretty much it for this video. The next video will be on how to install emulators and games through use of the homebrew browser. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.